I? Oh, I tried it. <laughs> I did come in looking like a whole rapper. You don't have to be mad. Sorry, I don't know. I just saw I saw a glimpse. In the, I forgot I had these glasses on. And you don't have to be mad. I, I act like I was in the studio. And I said, no, play it back. Play it back. One track. Oh, and I was in the studio. <laughs> you don't have to be mad. Anyway, sorry. Continue. Anyways, y'all, this... Um, I know y'all see us like this. This is not how we start our videos off, but this is just a disclaimer about this video. This video is extra long, extremely long, because me and Darius got in a discussion about... We got into a discussion about... Um, colorism. Colorism, cultural appropriation. Cultural appropriation. Et cetera, racism, all that other stuff. Yes, and we don't want anybody to be offended by this video. We are just um, talking from... Ex you know our opinions right and maybe things that you know you guys may say that oh you're not culturally aware or whatever but i had questions to ask that maybe you guys agree or no and some of you are guys uh probably will agree with my questioning or maybe or not disagree. or disagree so we understand there's gonna be a lot of controversy in the um comments we're on oh, no ma'am no no ma'am we're already expecting it, but we just want to know as a disclaimer. So you guys, if you cannot handle this as, you know, you know, cultural. If you just don't want to see this and you don't, you just don't want to tune into any of this and you feel at all uncomfortable at, at all uncomfortable at any time, then just go see, watch another video. Just, we just kind of naturally talked about this and we just don't want to hurt, offend anybody or whatever. So if right. you don't want to watch it, go to, just go somewhere else. We appreciate you guys clicking on this video and... Yes, we appreciate you guys, and we love you all, guys, and we, we, we love you all, and we don't have anything against anyone, no one. We're just talking, and it's our opinion, and we just have questions, and we're very innocent in this thing. We just... Yes, no, yeah. We nothing love everybody. Said, all cultures. We love all cultures. Everything. We'll we just have be. questions. That's it. Bye. Oh, oh not bye. Soon. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the video, because this is the beginning. It's not bye. Even though we've been sitting here for two and a half hours. Yes, we have, y'all. This is a very long video, so don't... Y'all click on it. Y'all listen to it. Listen to it while you're going to sleep. But don't dream. About nothing bad. What is going... Watch the video. Bye, y'all. Watch the video. What's up, my beloved? You guys, today we are eating Olive Garden. Olive Garden, we got the soup on deck, we got the salad, we got Italian. What you got? Um, so, that's what I have. Oh um, it's a chicken parmesan. Chicken parmesan, I love Olive Garden. Chicken. That's it? Chicken parmesan? Yeah, it's just chicken parmesan, and then I got chicken gnocchi. But then I, I got the, um, what is it? Buy one, get one to go or something. And I got the shrimp carbonara, shrimp and chicken carbonara. Wait, this is first of all. Y'all, let's say grace. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. I don't like um, touching Tabasco sauce. I don't know why. Like sometimes I will if it's brand new. Mm. But look at me using my pinky. Why are you using your pinky, Darius? I don't know. And I found that I, you know what I used to think? Well, maybe I'm just doing that because it's a communal bas it's communal to ba not really communal. Well, I guess our family. So, um, because I always was like, oh my gosh, I don't like touching the Tabasco sauce because you know in restaurants I just look like it's just nasty. I don't know. So I never. Because of people. Right, because it's just random people. And then I also. What I, about at home? Yeah, the home is the same thing. Um, I just. I'm just really. Whatever. I don't have the capacity <laughs> to. Um, you should ask them for their Tabasco sauce then. I don't have the capacity to eat the ones at home either. I mean, not, not eat it, but the way to touch it and grab it and grip it. I can't do that. And then when I was alone in my dorm, I was thinking, yeah, now I'm alone and it's my Tabasco sauce and I'm only using it. And I still couldn't do it. It just, I don't like the way it looks. You OCD. I don't like the way it looks. And like, I thought that my top, like the top part of my Tabasco wouldn't be corroded and stuff, mm -hmm. but it did get corroded. You know how Tabasco is corroded at the top? That's nasty to me. And it clumps up. Not clumps up, but like, you know, the top looks like that. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, uh, it, didn't, it didn't blend with, it didn't vibe with me, okay? Um, and I was still looking crazy while I was in my door. Darius, your boogie cold, you know why? 
And you're gonna say you ain't gonna want it. You'll never see me again. You get I on was... my nerves, because you be like, Fine. I just want you to get it hot, hot food. You be complaining. Mmm. Want some bread? Mm-hmm. Why did I ask you that? Mom, I thought you already got me the bread. How many you want? I'm gonna get it. No, it's fine. I don't want it. It's right there. Mm -mm. Why? You don't want none? No. You need to walk up. You need some weight gain. Let me go get you some bread. I'm gonna get you two pieces, okay? What is going on? What kind of intervention? <laughs> we gotta get you some bread. Mm. That's the way it rolls out here. Mm. Side. That's the warm side. Get the warm side, baby. Ooh, wait a minute. Let me get one. I think I want one. I I love it when I it's don't when they put. I don't like when they don't put enough salt on it. Yeah. I was trying to get another one. Oh, salt. sorry. I'm just kidding. You can have it. No, no. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't need one. Y'all, it's so good with this soup when you put that bread like that. Mmm. It's good. I bet it is. I'm gonna get you full. Let me tell you what I used to do back in the day. Back in the day, when I used to go to Olive Garden years and years and years ago, that's when there was a baby. If we were. Did I have back here? Mom, I said, I mean, okay, I know they have Olive Garden back here. But I know you actually. You probably wouldn't even bet. It's probably before you was went born. Went to Olive Garden. Like, I didn't know people went. To, I thought Olive Garden got popular when I was alive. Is what I'm saying. That wasn't even a dig. I, I don't know. Anyways, I used to go to Olive Garden way, way up. I think before he was born or after he was born. Whatever. I went and I used to fill up on their um, soups. With bread. I'm and sorry. this is what I do. I eat their soup and bread and get um, a limited amount of soup and bread. And then I get full and then I take my entree and take it home so I have something for lunch or something. Have my lunch. Because you have unlimited salad. So they been had unlimited soup and salad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm I remember when they first came out, it was for, like really known. You need to go to Olive Garden. You have unlimited soup. It's so good. I remember Olive Garden being popping. I feel like it fell, that, fell off. I bet it didn't. I don't think so. I think the one out here is just, uh, unpopular. Oh. It was the one in Milwaukee was popping. Mm hmm. It was hot and popping, y'all. The one we had, we, we was about a popular one. It was the, um,. The one in South Ridge. It's 76th Street. South Ridge, by South Ridge. I have by South Ridge. But they said that was the only one location they had. Uh, I want to go back to Milwaukee and see how it's doing without me. Derek, I'm sure Milwaukee is fine without you. Nicole said it's getting worse and worse by the day. What, Nicole? What? What do you mean, what Nicole? How did you she know? Because she went back there. <laughs> you said it gets worse and worse by the day. Mm-hmm. She only go back there once in the blue moon. I mean, every three months. You know what she says? Every time she goes back, she, um, it gets, it's worse than it was before. Mm. I think it's because I'm not there, but I don't know. There's a holly that they miss you. I was joking. Your friends may miss you. Hmm. And they're not even there. Well, now, now they are. Yes, they are. Oh, they everybody home? Everybody's at home. They um, got to work for online, too? Mm-hmm. Have they been doing their homework? Mm-hmm. My goodness, Mom. 
Whose mom are you? My Everybody. No. Everybody. No. Maybe the people in these comments, but not. I don't hear about so Mama Bethany. <laughs> That's my mother. Oh, I'm your mama now. Oh, no, I'm your I didn't mama say now. All that. I say. Oh, I'm your mama now. What? No. <laughs> all this needs to be nipped in the bud. <laughs> Shoot, people want to claim you when oh. everybody else claim you. Mm. Okay. I'll, I'll let mm -hmm. it slide. I'll let it slide. Cause if nobody wouldn't claim me, he wouldn't be like, "That's my mama." Darius should do that when he was in um, like at all daycare. That's my mom. That's my mom. No. He was so proud First of, of all, me. I'll name he what happened. <laughs> I'll name what No, happened. we don't want to name what because it's embarrassing. It was, but <laughs> but I was tried. And I just want to let the little boys and girls know that I wasn't here to play around. Well, it is. Darius thought he was the boss because I'm the boss. Well. My mama, my mama owned this place. I want everybody to know. And I want everybody to get it right. Ugh. I don't know what the kid was doing, but he was trying. There has been the boss. I know he was trying it, and he wasn't respecting his elders. No, you not. You weren't that much older than that boy. I don't know how old it was, <laughs> and I don't know how old he was, but I remember he was. You were like five or six, Darius, and that little boy was not five or six. You didn't even. When I was five or six, you didn't own the daycare. He was not. Hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm, you were young. Yes, I did on the day here when you were six. Really? Mm-hmm. You just started, though. Mm-hmm. Anyways, this little boy thought he was just going to get me out in the streets. And <laughs> he really messed with the wrong one. Um, I'm just kidding. I actually don't remember what he was doing, but it was really a lot. He was with a little four-year-old. Okay, first he, of all, can you stop? You have girls out here he bullying kids. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Girl. You just told me I was nine years old bullying a four and a half year old. I really was not. I don't know what he was doing. We were very similar in age, by the way. No, yeah, what? We definitely were. Was weren't. in my classroom there. Okay. Was it my classroom there? I don't know, mom. I don't know. Mm. All I know is that you had some kind of power position because I made sure he knew. I made sure he knew. I said, listen up, boy. Leave him alone. I said. I don't even want you to talk about him. I remember his name too. You do? Mm hmm. But I don't want to say it. Anyways, I said, Miss Beth, <laughs> see her picture on, on the wall? That's my mom, okay? I don't know who your mom is. Miss Beth's my mom. Miss Beth's my mom. Miss Beth's my mom. Because he wasn't paying attention and to me. And he said, Okay, I get it. Miss Beth's your mom. So what? And I was looking salty. You're right. I was. I was looking crazy. It was hilarious. I was looking salty. I was cracking up. I was like, you see, you got to hold off, Darius. And he was a little boy, too. He was like three and a half, three and a half, four years old. Can you stop telling them that? Because that's not who the boy or me. Neither was true. That boy was old enough to have some common sense. Not to mess with me. Darius, he was not that um, old boy. He was, oh my gosh, three. You act like I was out here kicking kids. Darius? Oh my gosh, she just made me seem like the biggest he's bully. He's four. Like he was three he and was a half. He was just big. Three like and eight. a half years old, mom? He was about four, yeah. Can you even talk at that age? You know, I don't know anything about child development. I, but are you just starting to talk? I mean, are you talking fluently? At four. Three and a half. Yeah, you're talking fluently. When do you talk? I don't know what that means, mom. You start talking at, at, at one, there's a less than one. People would say, they say dad, dad, mama, at six, seven months or earlier. Well, I didn't get the memo. When did I start talking? You don't know the milestones. I used to know all the milestones of the babies. You said you used to know? Yeah. I I'm sure you did. When you own a daycare, you should be knowing. I was a t teacher and a daycare. So you, you I, was a say, I was a teacher and then I was a daycare owner, y'all. Then you can say... Um, and that's my degree. You can say, excuse me, miss. Your child should be talking. And he's not. Right. I used to do know all that, but... I got a degree in early childhood education. Well, either way, what? When was I talking? I don't know. I remember that stuff? You'll never see me again. Um, All I know is that you was a you was a really good baby. You was an amazing baby. 
And then you, it's like, what? when you have no. good babies, mm -mm. they make up Stop for it right it when they get older. Cause he didn't used to talk enough. He just to observe everything. He was very quiet. He didn't even cry when he was hungry. I have to really make sure, like, okay, I just fed him. Let me see if he wants a bottle. You know, like a couple of hours later, you did not cry. They give you shots. You didn't cry. You will jump like this, look around, and then you'll be okay. And you just take a deep breath. Like. Anyways. But now? What? Drama! No. To the 10th power. Iconic Street to the 10th power. I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm I promise you he made I'm up leaving. for it. I'm leaving. Said I was it. All you need to know is that. Um, okay. Because I know no, you. Alright. I got it. This is how it starts. Mom, you're over some eat some bread, eat some bread and soup. Now you start. And I'll name them. I'll name them. And I'll name them with you. But you always know that I eat my my olive garden. I you gonna, you gonna be a child to kid. I'm gonna tell you, you can't have your dessert. Can you please translate what you just said in a different language? Oh, because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear a word. She said, "You're a I'm gonna treat you like a kid." I said, "You're the type of child that don't need to have dessert." You're gonna get dessert taken away from you and every privilege it is what taken is away because you don't eat. Of all, let's calm down. I know your mannerisms. I know what you do. Mom, what are you doing right now? Ooh, it's kitty pop. Oh, it's clocking you oh on everything gosh, that you're doing. Oh, it fell. The piece of chicken fell. Oh, it's crunchy and crispy. That's how you like it. Boy. What this is boy? white. I know what white is, mom. Now, y'all, he looking fresh, fresh as fresh. As fresh to death. He got an all white pants with the orange and the, this white, orange and white Vans oh. thing. With some, um. That's my Yeezys. And some Yeezys. White, all white yeah. Yeezys. I don't know why I did that for me to be in quarantine. Right. Was it hot out today? Was it hot out today? Yeah. No, not necessarily. I thought you said it was hot. It was earlier, I think, because we went out when the, this, the clouds came. It's about to some thunderstorm tonight. Well, anybody out there? <laughs> people out and about. I'm just kidding. No, there Last time y'all said it was empty. There wasn't a lot of people. Yeah, when we went to the other day, what did we go get? Popeyes? They said it was empty on the street. I was no, like, on the highway, on the there was highway. only two trucks, and that was it, and I screamed. <laughs> Felt like you was in another world, huh? Yeah. I said I feel like I'm in Wyoming. I probably don't. don't they, do people live in Wyoming? Say something if you live in Wyoming. Wahoo? <laughs> what do you mean, Wahoo? Wahoo? Wyoming. Derek, ain't it Wyoming? Wyoming? Wait. I'm going. I'm wait, going. wait, 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 wait. Let's do this for real. I'm leaving. You said Wyoming. What'd you say? Wyoming. It's Wyoming? Yes. It's Wyoming is an American state. It's not Wyoming? Wyoming? Wait a minute. What is it? I got to go. Derek, don't say. No, eat your food. Eat your food. We ain't discussing until this after you eat. Mom, it's Wyoming. Let me let, let me let Google check me. Hey Siri or Google. Is Wyoming? Okay, Google. Didn't work. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just Wyoming. Not... I said sorry, I'm Wyoming, Mom. According to Wikipedia, Wyoming is a state in the mountain region of the western United States. What am I saying Wyoming? I don't know, Mom. Maybe I'm not missing the ing. Wyoming? I say Wyoming? Oh, I'm missing the ing. It's just the ing, yeah. Wyoming. Wy Wyoming. That's what I said. I said Wyoming. You said Wyoming. What? Right. You're just missing the, the ng. Yeah, I'm some crazy. I thought it was Wyoming. Wait, you actually thought it was like Wyoming? Wyoming. What? Wyoming. But I'm not saying, I'm not pronouncing it. You know, I, I hear the Wyoming. Wherever people say Wyoming so fast, I don't hear the ing. Oh. 
was I over enunciating the English? You was over enunciating. So then you, you heard um, Wyoming. Yes, it's pronounced. Yes, it's pronounced Wyoming. When, I said that's it weird. Why when you say right. Wyoming, I'm like Wyoming. I never heard anybody pronounce it like that. They'd be like, "Oh yeah, I'm going to Wyoming." <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I just think that's funny. That you just thought people were saying Wyoming. There is. I don't know. I just. <laughs> Anyways. And they anyways, always they tell me I got another dictionary and I do. I really do. I think there's a population of two thousand. Um, I'm gonna say population of Wyoming. I just wanna see how many people live there. Jerry. Okay, I'll take a bite. Now anyways. Wyoming <laughs> I'ma knock you out. Wyoming population. Playing with your butt. Shoot. Somebody want to take Darius' place and come and be my partner and eating? I'm sure there's a lot of y'all out there. They may not make expressions like you, but they have been sure they will eat all that food. And you can never, ever replace me. So. Why not? There are people out there that like to eat Darius. Okay. And you're not one of them. And when you do eat, everybody stop and they try to like, whoa, I'm getting what Darius eating because he's enjoying that. This, by the way, is spectacular, delicious, show stopping. It's just, I promise. Darius, nobody believed you until that's gone. No, At least half of it. I've done it before. Mm -hmm. This is in the tour of Italy. Oh, you done that before? And you're like, oh, this is so delicious. And he's like, hmm, I can't take another bite. No, this I'm, uh, this is show stopping. It's just I'm full. This is something that people. This is not a, like a yes, mom. I always eat in my olive garden, and that's one thing I do. I always, oh my gosh, I'm always heating up my olive garden. You know how many times I've had this meal heated up in the microwave? Cause it's delicious, and the reheating prop, the properties of it are just amazing. Mm. 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 This is called over. Reacting mm. to get the truth across to match what he's saying. And what, what? is that called? I'm done. When somebody over, um, is it over compensate or overdo yes. something to make it sound good and matches the truth that they just, what well, they're trying to match mm -mm, their mm -mm, truth? Mm -mm, mm -mm, I can't do it. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. The gig is up. I, okay. The, the gig, gig is up. The gig is up. The who gig? The gig. I'm and just you, eating. Yeah, you I don't need to get, right, 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 right. You need to. Because G's have a, a spitting property. If I say. G you ain't had no problem with just saying stuff before. Because there, there's food in my mouth. I don't want to spit, get, get, and have some spaghetti. Well, then you need to waste, you need to swallow. Anyways, it only has half a million people. The state, mom. Now, let's, well, type, in, let's type in Milwaukee population. Milwaukee's big. Oh. The po population. That's 2017. Clock. Okay. It's only been three years. And I'm sure the population didn't like, double or get cut in half. So it's probably around this number. You never know. This is 2020. Anyways, mom. The population of Milwaukee is same as the population of the entire state of Wyoming. Yeah. Anyways. I don't know why I had to prove that point. Wyoming that point? never needed it. What I was just saying was like, oh, it's probably like how I'm experiencing like what people live like in Wyoming. When they go out, it probably is like a couple people. Like, I'm, I'm just... You feel like that's a small of a state? What? Do I feel everybody, like... everybody know everybody there then. No, I, I'm, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying, because I've never been there. I, I bet know. you Ohio, I mean, Ohio... Iowa is probably smaller. I just want to know the number of people that actually. Like Waterloo. Waterloo, Iowa. Yeah. Everybody knows everybody there. I'm sure they do. My sisters, my sisters live out there. They say everybody knows everybody. Everybody dated. Now I'm going to say dated everybody, but. Oh my goodness. Well, they have dated and have the same partner. Ain't much to pick from. Now, I'll name this. If you ever want to win a quiz on Darius, 
on what on a Dar a Darius quiz. No, I'm being a fool. My oh, and I think it's just my I can't eat because my tooth hurts really bad. Ooh, that's swollen my bread like that. Uh, Look how swelly it's so swell like that. It's it swell like that. And not eating that's it. That's nasty. Oh, you want to say no? Do you think I said oh like oh let me get it now let me and I'll name them. Soups like that are not supposed to be dipped with bread. That is. And I'll name it. It's got to be croak. It's got to be uh. It has to be cream. No. It definitely has to be a cream based soup. Cream based soup is better, but still, it's still good with this kind of soup. Uh, so I you got Zuppi Zakani. Zuppi Zakani. What is it called? Mom, you can just Zupi? add a, uh, an accent and Zuppe Zakani. Zuppi Zakani. Mm, I don't know what it is, but I know that adding an accent doesn't make it sound better. Sometimes it does. No. Senorita. Mom, why do you do that? Why are you just mentioning words that you know in your vocabulary? That I don't know? That you know. Do I do know? What is senor senor Senorita? Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. Let's move on. Let's move on. Do you know? Yes. You didn't like Spanish? Um... I did. I was just lazy in the class. Thanks for telling me. You made it seem like you just didn't understand. It was just foreign to you. No. Like, I, I mean, don't understand it. I'm not good at Some people pick up a foreign language. And you did Spanish three years and you did honors. I did a lot of Spanish. Yeah, I and don't know nothing. Now, because I, I didn't take it my senior year of high school and then I lost everything. If you don't use uh, foreign if language, if you don't use it, it, you lose it. You, yes, you're, that's exactly right. Um, and that's all with all schooling. Yeah, I took French. What? I took French. Name something in French, mom. I can't. That's what I thought. I used to know hello. You don't even know hello in French? Bonjour? Yes. Wow, we was about to have an See issue. how my brain went up back to that day? Listen, I feel really like y'all try know. it and act like you're supposed to be. I know when I get, um, 50 years old. Not that you're 50. See, that was self-diagnosed. That was a self-diagnosed look. You should no, because I yourself. know five years from now I'll be 50. I didn't say anything about you being 45. I'm just saying five years from now I'll be 50. Me. Okay, but you always said I'm, we so old as dirt. I never said you're old as uh, dirt in the sun. <laughs> now why you bring the sun in? Now listen, I said I know when, I, when I'm 50 that I won't, um, what was I going to say? That I won't be remembering nothing that I'm learning in school. Do you remember something now? Yes, mom. Um. Well, only the stuff that I like recently learned. Like, like. You really remember stuff in elementary school? Yes, because the stuff like in what? elementary school that you're taught is like basis of what you need in subtraction life. Subtraction and add addition. I know how to add, subtract, to multiply, and divide. Yeah, and I know how to speak and you say don't words. I know colors. I know how to write in cursive. What about calculus? No, like stuff like that. So like in when you learn stuff in Trigonometry. math. Trigonometry. Like when you learn stuff in math or like chemistry or whatever, I don't know how you can just read it. Like if I gave you a problem two years after you learned it and it was fresh in your brain, like and then two years later I said, here, how to solve this. And you're just like, -do -do -do. like I just feel like that's not real. Some people, no, some people are like that, Darius. Yeah, but how some do you Some people have a long-term memory. They have very good long-term memory. Yeah, but stuff that, something that takes so many steps. Like chemistry. Yes, there is, but people know that they're very, very smart too. But it's you got different types of learners out in the world. Like you got some people that's just super -de duper smart that could tell you everything. They remember things. Their memory is like an elephant. I learned a lot in my AP European class, and I forgot a lot in my AP European class. But see, you probably European like me. history. I didn't. Are you history. are you a person that that can I, you can study? Study for a test and everything, and you know all of the information, all of the answers, so so good. And when you get to the test, you pass it because you got all that information. But once you get it on that paper, it goes out. It's like in your short term memory. Um, I'm the type of person to do that, y'all. I can learn anything. If you give me a test the night before you tell me I got a test, I'm going to study that test until I got everything in me. But 
Once I get on that paper, it's done. No, I think I don't I, remember it like that. I think if I put things in my long term memory, I'll remember it for a long not a long time, but I think I'll, I'll remember it for a Yeah, if you do it in your long term, if you're a long term memory, but, but when you take tests. I'm school, I put, I'm in my short term memory so for like, I That's what I test. said. When you study for a test, it's in your short term memory that you remember it probably another week test. or two weeks. If, if that, right. and then you don't remember it no more. Right. Or you're going around carrying index cards trying to remember stuff right. and everything. You're just remembering it for the moment. It's for that moment. For it's life. not for your lifetime. Unless it's something that you're going to do every day, use every right. day. Right. With like addition, addition, right. subtraction, uh, multiplication. A lot of people know that by heart. Right. If I know up them. until a couple. You guys just make me do my multiplication. And yeah, multiplication, the table. Yes. Yeah. And I was killing. We had to do one through twelve. Then, then um, eight and nine started to get fishy for me. I don't know when I got up to eight and nine numbers. Yeah. Six times six is thirty-six. A hey, thirty-six. They had us not a song for it. No, I just made that up. Oh, uh, I used to make songs for you all the time. Name them. Name name a song. Name I can, name yeah. Uh huh. No. Um. D-A-R-I-U-S. Remember? My name is Darius. I don't remember that one. <laughs> I do not I don't think it went like that. She said, my name is Darius. I said Darius. Hmm? Darius. What? Yeah. Mm-mm. Do you remember? Remember the bunny ears? No. To what? tie your shoe. Mommy, you didn't teach me how to tie my shoe. What's that Michael did, didn't he? Yes, he did. I didn't know his name was Michael. I forgot. That's really sad. How old is he now? What's going on? Let's go talk to them. He's 30. How you know? Because I know he is. You know he's 30 now. That's his exact age. He's probably 30 something. Almost 40. Almost 40? <laughs> There's why you say it like that. I thought that he was your age? There is. No, he was not. Oh, wait. No, no, no. You're older than that. But I'm older than him, but there is when you was five when years. you was two years old. You think he was five years older than you? No, I knew he was older than Dalvin. He was a was. teenager. But I thought he was in his twenties when I was young. Does that mean he was? You weren't and in your twenties though. If he was in his twenties while you're young, you're nineteen. How old do you think he is now? I'm confused, mom. I stop making me do math on camera. I don't know how old he is now. He probably his But 30s. all I know is this is picture of me, of me learning. It was a big. It looked like a New Balance shoe. It was a big a shoe, and he was teaching me how to tie yep. it. Bunny ears, and I tried to tell you about about the bunny ears. You wouldn't get it. No, because I didn't do bunny ears. I feel like that was always the lesser way to tie your shoes, and I'll name them. If you um, if you were the type to um, do bunny ears, you were just lesser part of the population, and that's just that's just how it is. So you said you were smarter if you did the other way. You're just in the elite. And it's okay. I'm just kidding. But still, I just never liked the bunny ears way. I know how to do the bunny ears way. But I do the one where you, I'll, I'll name them. I can't do it with my shoes right now. But you take it and you make one loop and then you take the string and you tie it around or you wrap it around and then you pull it through like a loop and then you tie it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But I couldn't do the, it's too, it's just too much to do one loop and then the other loop and then do that. I don't like it. And I feel like the, the knots are just never as juicy. They're never as like firm and tight. You used to be smart. You still smart. But you used to be smarter. What does that even mean, mom? I just think because I said that because you used to learn things so fast when you was little. You, you walked at nine months. Then you were... You learn how to tie your shoe. You was potty trained. So easy. Be at one. You weren't even two. You was always potty trained. That was fast. Since day one. And I've now been it's like the, every. I've been the girls no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Then every year <laughs> it got slower with the uh, slower with. Uh, how am I saying this? You know, cause you you know how people pass the easier grades, right? It'd be so good. They'd be like, on a roll, on a roll, on a roll. You'll never see on me roll, again. On a roll, on a roll, on a roll. Then when they get to sixth no. grade, I guess they Dalvin have a boasts, social life. Dalvin boasts about being on a roll in in up fifth until eighth grade. grade. After eighth grade, Dalvin get on a roll, and he didn't even get on a roll there, Holly. It was like after mid fifth grade, he got on a roll two more times in middle school, and that was it. He was a he was too much of a class clown. I was always on the honor roll. Um. You stopped being on honor roll a little bit later. No. 
I used to be high honors. He is high honors. He was, oh yeah, he was high I honors. I used to be high honors. And, and then, then he went to low honor. honor. No, no, no. There's no low honors. <laughs> Goodness. What's it called? It was just honor roll. I think it was like my freshman and sophomore year, I was both high honors. And then I went to regular honors in junior year. And then they didn't, I don't know what they had in senior year because I moved schools and they, I don't think they did. I don't know what they did. The schools you, at that, that point, I didn't the care. school you moved to was 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 too highly ranked. I did eat. They had like, I'm telling you, half the class was uh, was the Kuma Mulati. What you call it? <laughs> she said Kuma Illuminati. What is going what is on? What's it called? What's it called? Kuma, what's Summa it? Cum laude. Summa cum laude. That's why they're thinking I'm Illuminati. As a matter of fact, let's kiss and make up. Please I don't, don't say that. I'm blue to God. They already think we sold our souls to the devil and we're Illuminati. They do not. I promise you. Who said that? That's it. That's, that's say we sell our souls to the devil. That's why we rich. We are not Beyonce. I'd hope. Beyonce <laughs> sold herself? No, but I'm just saying, like, if you if, when you think in your mind, um, people who are part of the Illuminati, after they did all that and uh, sold their soul to the devil, I'd hope that they um, were rich, rich. I'd hope that they were living their life if they're out here selling their soul. Um, not, uh, I need a little bit more than what we have if I'm over here, it's gonna be selling my soul to the devil. I need, <laughs> I need Beyonce status. You need billions. I need billions. I need my name, i be a household name. Like, I don't know what that means. Times when we sell our souls to the devil. Um, That's what they say. And I said, dang, anybody, everybody get rich, sell their souls to the devil? That's what this is now? I don't know. Anyways. That's a song by Nicki Minaj. That's why they get out my little Minaj. Anyways, it's a really good song. I know I'm going to get it. Because I'm gonna get I said it. the word rich. I'm going to you did, and I'm leaving. I'm, I'm exiting stage left. Stage left. I didn't catch okay, it. Okay, y'all. I didn't catch okay, it. Okay, let me say that. Let me see, because I know they're like, <laughs> okay. Well, well, mm, let's clock it really quickly if we want to talk about sensitivity. Well, I'm gonna say that. Okay, we're just uh, well off. Not well off. Mm, That's mm, not what well off. Because mm, there's a difference. There. Okay. Yes. Okay. So who is rich then? What does rich mean? Rich and wealth is different. Wealthy is it wealthy is Trump Beyonce money, right? That's wealth. Wealth that goes on and on and passes on to the kids and families and it just stays in the family. What's wealth, Nate? He doing TikTok. He's doing TikTok? No. What's wealthy? Wealthy is is Beyonce's money, right? Billion. Nair. Let's look it up just to see what it says. Really Rich know. is what? Like what? Rich and wealth is different. I think of it like rich. This. Rich people have income, like you working, and you can be rich and actually be working. Really? And money coming in. Wealthy people are just well off. They don't even have to work. That's what I'm saying. There they is a difference. They just. I want to. I'm striving to be wealthy. Well, look up the difference. Wait, wait a minute. Rich How definitely. much money you gotta do to be wealthy? How much money I gotta get? I don't know. Having a great deal of money of my or my assets, life. and then it says wealthy in the definition of rich. So I don't know what to say. Look up wealthy. Every day, the gap between the rich and the poor widens. Oh my goodness. Um, wealthy definition. Okay, let me just put it like this. It's the same thing. Having a great deal of money, resources, or assets, and then it says rich. So basically, we just made up the difference. Yeah, you made it up. Y'all made it up. Well, there you go. Y'all made it up. And I'm tired. That's why I always use the dictionary because everybody has their own figmentations of the imagination in their mind and they want to say what this definition and that definition is. Now, do we have a great deal of money? I don't think so. But, listen, and I'll name them. It's relative. I think money is relative. Some right now, rich. right now, let me say, Nick, would you stop? This is what Darius was doing back when he was 11. Oh yeah, bust it to the lights, bust it, bust it to the lights, uh, uh, bust it to, he was hoping. No, <laughs> <laughs> none of that. Yeah, you was. No. Anyways, uh, what I was going to say. I was saying, I don't know what you were going to say. I was going to say something. I was going to say that I think everything is relative. To, to, to Beyonce, we're not rich. No, we're right. poor. Right. Well, no, we're not poor. We're not, I mean. I don't think we're poor. You can't be saying you're average. You're okay. No, you can't just make up say that you're average. What would she say? 
I think she would just say you're less rich than I am. I don't know. Like, no, not... I'm saying I, I, I'm thinking you saying compared to her money, she has a bill. Compa she's a billionaire. Well, she's not a billionaire, but because they're gonna do a lot. So some Beyonce ain't no billionaire. Well, she's a half a millionaire. Yes, yeah, she is a half a billionaire. You're right. Um, half a millionaire. Half, half a billionaire. A bi half a billionaire. What do you mean half a millionaire? You think she's worth five hundred thousand? Are you crazy? Five hundred million. Yeah, she's, I said half a billionaire, not half a millionaire. That's a difference, mom. So five hundred million is a half a billion. half a billion. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving, dude. Five hundred million. Is I'm leaving, dude. Five hundred no. million. No, no, Darius. Like a quarter of a million. Mom, if you make a thousand millions, you're a billionaire. Right. So a quarter. A quarter of a billion dollars is two hundred and fifty million. What's a quarter of a million dollars? It's two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Wait a minute. What now? I'm getting. I'm not getting <laughs> that. No, 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 no. I ain't stopping. Cause I'm. I'm trying to figure this out. Like I say. I got you. I see what you're saying. Cause so if I say a quarter of a million, that's two hundred and fifty thousand. Right. Okay. Yeah, I got so you. So she's she's a half a billionaire. Right. I got you. I got it now. Jay Z is a little over a billion, I think now. So he's a billionaire. Yes, he's definitely a billionaire. But even her five hundred million. So them together is one point five. Yeah, but billion. 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 And nobody has to be mad. I don't think. That's a lot. Anybody of money. should be. Mad. That is a lot of money. Um, and they are definitely giving me a power couple. That's and a, that's a that. money that you ain't gotta look at your thing. You ain't gotta look at nothing. That's generational wealth. Gener, gener, that generational is wealth. lifetime wealth. Forever. Well, obviously in their lifetimes. For the Knowles. Oh my gosh, imagine being blue. Would you, okay, if you were worth, if you were, hmm, <laughs> I'll name them. If you, um, you and dad made a, of well, a fortune of uh, whatever billion dollars, and by the time I was born, let's say I'm born into this 1.5 billion dollars that you guys have, mm -hmm. would you um, make me work a day of my life, or would you just give me that my money? Would you Would you say, okay, you have to do? What would you do? What would you? Your I don't want you to work. I want you to go to school and get a degree. Okay. Okay. You after I get my degree, you're just gonna give me money, or do I have to actually go to work and do get a job? You have to earn some money. This I, ain't for free. I don't have it. I don't have it. You don't have what? Work with a work ethic? No, I'm just saying if I'm this kid, I I, ain't, I don't have it. Like You don't have what? I don't have it in me. My, I just don't. I'm saying there my is, parents- I'm gonna raise you to have it in you. $1.5 billion? I'm, I need, okay, so I, you, need a, I need a partnership in the company. Let me ask you something. If you had $1.5 billion and you had children, would you have you allow your children to go to school? And get an education. Okay, obviously they're going to go to school. Do but I, how are they going to have, college? Because let me tell you something. When you have a kid, they are, on a, they are on a borrowed life, what you call a borrowed life, right? Because they're living off their parents. So they're living off their parents' okay. money. So once they move out, they're not on that borrowed life anymore. They're on their own. Now it's for you to be able to make your own finance. I'm not going to cut you a check every year, every month. But... So you're just gonna die with your billion dollars because you're not gonna spend it all. No, no, and you'll of never course, see me again. You'll be in the will. No. But at the same time, you have to earn. I would rather, I would encourage mm. you to say, look, start your company, do this. I will work. Are with you gonna you. fund my company? I could do that. I could help you fund your company, but you're gonna have to put the work into it, and you're gonna have to have a degree behind it because how I'm gonna teach you how to run a company? You need to know all the steps to run a company. So I'm gonna tell you, son, you need to go to school and get your business degree. It, whether it be a, a, a bachelor's or a, a master's or a doctrine, and then we will invest in a company yeah. of your choice. And you run it. That's how you're going to make money. Because you're going to have Well, yes, have obviously, we, what, the goal is to make more money off of what we have. Right? Whatever that I'm doing, I don't want to just be. You want to be better than your parents. No. Not if they're 1.5 billion. I don't know how that's going to happen. How could it not happen? It can't happen. It ain't, ain't far-fetched. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, that is a lot of money. They're still selling Madam, Madam C.J. Walker stuff at uh, Sephora. Did you know that? What she said? The iron to come? No. What she said? Grease? Mm-mm. What? Um, hair growth products and um... It's some That's what I knew was some stuff. type of hair stuff. I think it's hair stuff. Um, but they still sell it at Sephora. That's good. Um, 
It's crazy. I need to watch that show. It's called the some the something the self made. She was the first self made. Um, the hairstylist person. No, 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 no. What? Well, I'm just you're just spinning out things. I'm just I don't know. I I really don't know. Oh, I didn't know what she was either. I haven't watched the show. Um, anyway, it's people, on Netflix. I hear a lot of people talking about it though. It's on Netflix, <coughs> and I watched um, half the first episode. I was trying to. I'm, I'm gonna, Is it a series? It's a limited series, so. So it's like a eight nine episodes. Oh, but then that's it. It's like a it's like a long movie that they chopped up. Did you hear that it was good? Um, it's trending. I Netflix. seen it a little bit of it. That y'all had it on. You had it on. Yeah, I had it on. And she was selling some grease or some. First hair of all, it was stuff. actually really sad, and I couldn't eat while. I... <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> I had, I always have to have shows that I watch when I eat, and there's some shows I can watch when I eat, and some shows I couldn't. I can't. And I thought that I was gonna watch that show while I ate, and I but couldn't what? do it because she said this is something really sad. She said something about um, she she just has difficulties. In the first episode, she's talk, talking about how she thinks she's so ugly and and kinky and black and dark and dark and black, and and she thinks she's disgusting and gross because she's black, she has dark skin, and that really did not set me the right way. And I lost my appetite when I was trying to eat, and it was just a lot. So I had to switch it to some cartoon. Cause like I told her there's eating shows and there's not eating shows and now and I thought I was I was going as soon as and then she said I'm so well, I don't know what she said and I couldn't do it anymore I just felt really bad um, cause the lady okay so in the show I was talking about this this lady and she was like she was light skinned she had like a she had light skin and she um she she was like she was saying in a thing like oh you can ne you can never look like me. And like my hair is this and that and like you wish it was a white person. No, she was black I think she looked Hispanic. I don't know. Uh, I think she was black. She's just like she's, she had a lot of skin She had a lot of complexion then um What's her name? What's the actress's name? She was Ma. I forgot her name. Yeah, she was Ma. I remember her. Ma Ben Ma. That's really sad. I forgot her name, but I know Viola. Viola I'm not good at what <laughs> I actress's don't know name. Her name. <laughs> Viola Davis um but what is her name? Ma Cast. So, Octavia Spencer. I didn't know that was her name. Octavia. Hmm. That's uh, pretty. But anyways, yeah. She was talking about some um, being black and dark and um, having dark skin. <laughs> and that really made me sad. But I'm That do make you sad because it's a lot of people that... No, it's real. It is real. No, nothing. There's a lot of people that deals with that, you know, and stuff like that with the... Uh, Colorism? Yeah. I know. Oh, man, no, I'm talking about not liking their skin. Cause colorism, yes. Which I just think that's crazy. Um, cause she, uh, to me. Who Octavia? No, to me, I just feel like. You know, you know how people you can see people they have a pretty face no matter what. It what their skin. You know what I'm saying? The color of the skin has to do with how you look. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. You're saying like the structure of their face? Or like right. It's just a, you know. Right. What What about that? What I'm saying, like, say for instance, like, if I was the, or no, somebody was very, very pretty and had green eyes. Okay. But they were lighter. Mm -hmm. But then they look, they could, they could have a dark skin. But have the same, they could be, I'm what I'm trying to say. What are you trying to say? I don't know what's going on. Like, Are you just saying it doesn't? You're just saying you're basically saying that you. <clears throat> like I'm, I'm not. I'm trying. I'm trying to understand why. A why color, colorism is a thing? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Why? Why is it that? Why is it that people? Why is colorism a thing? Is what you're saying? Why do people s say things that are? I mean, you. So my side, cause I'm saying it's a lot of dark skinned people that are very attractive. They're very nice looking. They're so very, very pretty. You don't pretty. understand why, why colors But I don't understand. Right. I don't understand why they say, oh, why people start saying you're ugly because you're black. You know what I'm saying? Your skin well, darker, but you're very pretty. Do you understand what I'm trying to yes. say? Yes. You have very, very nice, attractive women that are very chocolate skin. That's beautiful skin. Very smooth and milky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Chocolate, smooth, milky, but they think they're ugly because their skin color so they figure out if I was lighter and looked the same way, not changing anything, well, I would yes. be pretty. Well, we have, because we have a European standard of beauty in the world. Oh, I guess. So, I mean, I feel like that's just what it is. So it's just like, 
it's, it's a mixture of things of the reason why colorism is a thing. I don't know. And I think that. No, I shouldn't say that. I was gonna say something like as the thing because it's a lot of black people that have very good strong features that's very pretty. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of um you have uh what is going on? <laughs> I don't wanna say what just, is going on. I'm just not trying to but I'm just saying we got a lot of features that's very different features that's very pretty and very nice, you know, different structure of of the What do you yes, what are you saying by what do you what do you mean by that? What is going on? You got European people that's that's cute too. Are you saying what? What are you saying? <laughs> I'm not saying nothing there. That's what I'm trying not yeah, to say. I'm, leaving. I'm just saying there's a lot of Oh my gosh, forget it. I can't. I, feel, they, what? I don't even know what to say because I don't know what they're going to say. We'll say what I'm saying, leaving what this I'm video saying. already. I'm not reading the comments. I, 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 didn't do I, anything. I has already teleported. I, I didn't do anything but try to talk about Madam C.J. Walker and I don't know how we got onto this. But because I was confused about why people think that why I'm colors, saying, why, why colorism is thing is what you're, no. that's basically what you're saying. Why? Okay, yeah, that's Because it. you're saying, because in colorism, the lighter complexions or, or skin tones are favorite and you're wondering why that's a thing because you yeah, see Yeah, so because they're so, because they can be pretty. Right, exactly. And how can you not see that you're pretty? It's not that. It's... It's a it's a mixture of things, mom. Like I said, we have a European standard of beauty, so it's. But I guess we all are insecure about some things about ourselves. It don't necessarily have to be color. Yes, but that's just like saying there's. I mean, just because there's other problems doesn't mean this one's not a problem. I mean, basically, what it is is when it's just. If I was gonna have a colorism video, which is not gonna be this one. I'm gonna be doing a little challenge. Um, cause it's, it's just a lot behind it and it's a lot of things and I don't just, and that's why I, say, I can't, I can't, things. we can't speak a lot on it because we can be ignorant about a lot of things because we are not, you know, we're I'm not, not, we're not, I'm like, not necessarily ignorant on colorism. But what, what I'm saying, what I'm saying to you is that I, we have never lived in somebody's shoes and deal with that. You know what I'm right. saying? We have never experienced it. And somebody that have experienced it can know way more about it because that's their life. They deal with it all the time. Well, I think that all black people deal with some forms of colorism. Yeah, because it's people who don't like I think even, even lighter skinned. They they, um, will, they don't like that right. I get, get ridiculed for being light skinned. By other black people, they do. And I feel like dark, obviously, on the opposite side, it's the same thing. I feel like all black people exp can experience some kind of form of colorism. In their own, in their own color, in their, race, in right. their own race. In our, within our own race. You're right. Well, because I, I don't, it, it ha I think colorism can happen with anybody's, anybody can, you Do you know, think you're right from the uh, thing where the people was being, you, if you was this color, you would be in the house? And then this Mom, color, you have to be in the field? All of this derived from And they were kind of jealous and then the jealousy thing came on? Um, not necessarily a jealousy thing. But what was it? Uh, or a hatred. There was some it was people a hatred. was a hatred. And it was because, uh, listen. If you're somebody, we had to get the house and I'm going to sit the in the reason, field. The reason why lighter skinned people were, if we're, are we really doing this video? Because we can talk. Go ahead. I right, we go. What? I need to be schooled. I'm just saying, okay, the reason why lighter skinned people are favored is because they, you, the lighter you were, the closer, closer you were to white, white, so white, it was right. um, And the, the reason why I say that we have a European standard of beauty is because we do, in, in the world, I feel like mo uh, people, a lot of people are... Um, yeah, because like us black women, we wear this straight hair. Right, that's a, that's right. a, it was a <clears throat> counteracting, you know, um, Thing of okay, well, we're not accepted for our, our our natural hair, our kinky hair, our what what makes us who we are, you know. And they didn't, see, you know, you didn't see that represented in media. You didn't see yourself represented in media. So what you did see was 
people with straight hair and all this other stuff so that color for eyes right well yeah <laughs> no matter what people contact right 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 and so a lot of black people are ashamed of their own hair and their own t hair textures or and it's not even necessarily that they're ashamed of it if you i'm not saying if you wear a wig or you wear straight hair you're ashamed of your hair right because some people do it both they do well rock, rock right. a wig and make it rock their natural I'm not hair saying that. And um, everyday natural hair. Which natural also hair. ties into cultural appropriation with like having braids and all that other stuff mm -hmm. if you're not, you know. But, and, and it's because you can easily take it off. You don't have to be ridiculed for it. Like for someone who has, you know, 4C hair and does have kinky hair, they, you know, have, they can't just say, oh, okay, well, I can take it off this day and I'm just going to, you know, not, not have this as my natural hair. Like these are protective hairstyles that people are using on their hair and then like, someone who doesn't need to have this as a protective hairstyle and or, or it's a style that's not even for your hair they're just wearing it because it looks cool and then they're taking it off when you know they want to but you know people can't just undo their 4c hair that's not a thing but then why do some people get mad when they see a white person with uh braids like just what i just said because it's it's cultural appropriation. So like they're they're when you're black and when you're when you're a black girl in school and you have braids and, and the teacher cuts off your braids, that you never heard about those situations before where cut off your braids for what? Kids get keep getting their hair cut off by teachers. Not the you talking about when people couldn't go across the stage because they had dreads. All of Mom, I didn't say that, but I'm just saying all this. No, I ain't never heard that. Yes, well, it's happened before. All of those things. When you have 4C hair, you can say, okay, I'm proud of my hair and I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna let Why this get to me. Why would they cut their hair though? Mom, I'm I don't sorry. know why they did what they did. Mom, I don't I know. But that, those things have happened and those are crimes against people with 4C hair who have to deal with this hair all the time because it's their hair. And then you're taking a protective hairstyle or something that, um, that, you know, is a part of identity, a part of somebody's identity, or you know, a, like it's a, a part of our culture. And then you're just saying, okay, I'm gonna wear it because I think it looks cool, and then I'm just gonna take it out when I, when I, when it's not beneficial to me anymore. I understand that, but what I'm saying is, what black people can wear straight hair, right? Do you think that Europeans get mad at us for wearing the wigs and stuff? But there's, there's a different, there's a. It's more the reason then, why that's happening is because But you because got you of, got black women, I mean what, European women that like to wear bright like when they're in the Bahamas they're getting their hair braided. I know what they're doing. But people There's a don't lot of like white people with dreads and stuff too. Right. But why people with, Because they're doing it to to be like, oh this is cute. Yeah. And we do want to the one the wigs because they oh this is cute. It's not the same. Okay. And I'll name them. Okay. <laughs> like, so I'm not understanding. I, maybe I don't put my... I don't the reason know. why it's cute, though, is because of colorism. Like, the reason why it's cute to have straight hair mm -hmm. is because... For black people? For black people mm -hmm. is because y'all didn't like our 4C kinky hair. Who is y'all? I'm saying y'all as the people who are colorists. Okay. You didn't like when we had, we were discriminated against when we had 4C kicking here. So we're trying to assimilate into what society wants us to be. Does okay, that make sense? That's okay, why, okay. that's why the straight hair right. thing is a trend and wearing wigs and all this other stuff because right. it's better than you dealing with your own natural hair. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. why? Take yeah, the we always road? say that. Yeah, we say, uh, you know, it's, it's much easier to maintain this type yeah. of oh, hair. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I meant it as it's easier to take the road of less, you know, resistance of let me just make... Not, I'm not, okay, and I'm not saying that people today are doing that, like, consciously, like, like I don't I, like wearing my kinky hair because <clears> I, <throat> I'm just saying, in the past, it's been, it's easier, why, it's easy, I want my hair to look like this, I want my hair to look like what I see on TV, and, and we didn't have a lot of representation yeah, of people looking. Yeah, but sometimes people do it because there is, it's just cute to wear wigs sometimes, and sometimes people want to do it because they want to be protected. No, I know hair. that, I understand that. Protect their hair. I'm not saying, no, But they have nice that. hair. You know what I'm saying? Some people got really nice hair. It's not hair. about if you have nice hair. No, I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying some people don't wear because they're trying to look like somebody else or trying to fit in. No, but I'm, I think that's where it originated from. Why? Oh, I say I originated I, because I I'm think, like everybody. Because like when, you, when you have representation, you look at people and say, oh my gosh, her hair is so nice or whatever. We, they, back in the day, there wasn't representation of black women. And, like when, and when it was, when, when afros or, or their 4C hair was shown, it was very in a derogatory way, very negatively. So it's like... It, it, they so they're trying to, to be try, accepted they, by society. It's just a, it's a role that has the least resistance. So like I think that I think this is all my personal opinion of uh -huh. why I think that where it originated from. Uh -huh. 
But now I think obviously people just you know wear. It. I'm not saying that if you now wear we wear, wear it just because it's a, right. We wear it because you know we just like to wear it. It's just the norm. Right. But so I think it's unfair just to be like, oh well, why can't they can just wear our protective hairstyles and we? I mean, and that's we why. Wear their, well, why not? Why can they wear um braids? Because it's just it. it they only have to wear what is convenient for them, mom. They're only wearing it because, oh, I think this is looks, this is cute, like, or whatever. Okay, and then but I'm, what is wrong with that? I don't, maybe I'm too, uh, what is wrong I'm, with I've that? I've been trying to say different ways. I don't understand what you mean, what you don't What understand. is wrong with a European wearing braids? Like Jamaican, like braids? Why do some, I mean, I hear some people really get mad at that, like, take those braids out. You are not, you're not us, or, you know. It's not supposed to be a like a targeting like oh well you can't do it because you're not black I mean that's what it is but I, it's not supposed to be what? like that they call it a name too what when it's like when they think a white person is trying to be black oh black fishing that's what it's called that's something different though oh well it's not necessarily something different but I guess it is I think I heard I other know. names too but... all this stuff goes hand in hand yeah black fishing is just more like um. That's more of like a street term for it. It's not like a real like scientific. I think these people just came like, like black fishing. It's, it's like, like um, it's your fishing people in basically saying doing doing a lot of culturally black things to make it seem like you are black, but you're oh, really not. Oh, I see. You get you tan now, your skin really okay, dark. Okay. Okay. You people they do that. It. They tan their skin to be darker to look like they're black or blacker at least or of black descent. Oh. And then they do a lot of. They literally look black. See, and th that's what I was gonna say. Cause when he just said that, they try to say that whoa, Vicky is that because she hangs around a lot of uh, black people and she has that, you know. Um, I don't know. What she talks? Vicky's black fishing. Right. I think I don't that, know if she was. I don't know if she's black fishing. I think that might have been tried. Black fishing. You think someone is black. That's what black black fishing is. You thinking someone's black until you find out that they're not black. I don't think you're looking at Will Vicky and think she's black. No, you're not. I don't think that's you're what right. I thought. No, this is about to come. Not at all. We gotta. Oops. Do you want me to restart? Yeah, restart. It. We finna we finna let y'all go though. <sighs> and we finna clock this right now, y'all. Please do not try to go in on us in the comments. We really don't know. We just having a discussion. And some of the things I really don't understand. I really don't. I just ask the questions. Because he more of, oh, let me see, culturally aware? I try to be. Right. I'm not actually and, the most culturally aware. I don't really think about, uh, well, you know what I'm saying? I'm not thinking. Of, I don't, I just ask questions because that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I feel like okay, why can't they do it? I don't because me, I'm the type of person don't like to. I'm not gonna put my judgments on you. I'm not gonna judge you as a person. If you want to be that, then you be that. I'm not here to judge your life. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I accept people for where they are. That's what I'm trying to say. I accept them where they are. So if you was a a, a, a white person and you wanted to wear braids, I'm gonna sit there and say, girl, you can't wear no braids. Get them braids out your head. You not, you not, uh, it's black. It's more of... What, what does that make sense? How, how does that make sense? It's more of the, it's just the principle behind it, mom. It's like, there's, there, it, there's a lot of heartache and pain that can come of your hair. Is it because of what happened to us from them? What? Like slavery? Yeah. Why? It's all stems from that, mom. It That's all what I'm saying. That. So, but I'm saying that. That's not a direct thing, it, mom. Listen, what it was. Okay. This is what I'm saying. I think it's not fair because if they can wear braids and we can ah, wear their wigs, none of that. <laughs> Listen, we wear this. You, we, we wear that because. Oh, the baddest about to die. We wear that, not we, but I'm saying us as black people. I'm, I don't, whatever. They used to go before the ticket and run, tell us something. I knew he was in his room wearing us a 30 inches. <laughs> no, we wear that because. Oh, y'all, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone, everyone. Let me know the girl is going to the channel. We we'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. We love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed. Our battery is for the run out. We just want him to say this last thing. You wear that, be we wear that because it was more of a. It was really a self-hatred of, 
I don't like the way my hair looks because I'm not seeing myself represented. I'm getting, you know, right. I'm getting discrimination based off of this. I, it's a, and this is my opinion, and I think this is what it is. Um, it it's was a, an attempt to look more white, to look more, to, we, it's very hard to get our hair to look like this, uh -huh. you know? Well, and to, yeah, some of it. Right. Some, people, some people got very long, I mean, thick hair, but if they straighten it out, Right. Or use a hot comb or put a perm in the head or a relaxer, it's going to come out straight like you this. You have to do a lot, yes. But you have to do a lot to it to make it come out like this. Right. And the re and our hair is just a different texture. And the texture of our hair, the reason why we do these hairstyles is for protective. Like, they're, they're also, okay, obviously they look nice style. and they're also protective styles. For so when you don't have that type of hair, when you don't have 4C hair, what, I don't really know anything about the different types of hair. Uh -huh. Um... And I'm just saying 4C, but I know there's other black people with different other four. Textures I don't know what of hair. The textures of 4A, I think there is in 4B. But anyways, I don't really know about that. But um, I know I have 4C hair. I'm just kidding. I did a lot. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah. I What was I saying though? Oh. Your hair is not meant for the, the styles that are not your hair. But I'm saying, like, if you don't have, like, black people's hair, they, the, the reason why they have protective hairstyles is, is like, for our hair texture and not for looks, necessarily. I and mean, they can be for looks, but originally their purpose was for, I'm done talking. <laughs> Do you understand? Everyone, I think they understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I tell y'all, don't. This is our opinion. This is nothing to do be factual, and it's not. We just ask some questions. I can give you a vid. If I I can go brush up on my research and give you a video. I know what I'm saying is true and right. And I'm trying. But I don't necessarily. I'm just curious as to, as to why everybody can't do whatever they want to do. That's all, without being ridiculed. But you're telling me because black people way. get ridiculed for just having their hair. That's why. You talking about having their, their natural hair? Yes. When? Not all the time. Okay, of course it's not all the time. I'm done. Anyways. I know I see people uh, having up uh, <clears throat> when they whatever. Where after? Who is that? I think I look like a love and hip hop. The girl that had the afro. She's very pretty, very chocolate. I'm a Rosa. I'm I don't know if this is true, but I don't know if people like being um, compared to like or like being. Um, I don't know. This is, I'm just trying to say it before. I, Not just insult somebody. No, no, no. I just don't know if people like being called chocolate. I don't know. I'm just trying to be really like abroad with my. I think I don't understand. I know you that. don't. It's, I know that's not what you mean. To like, me, like I said, she's very. But I don't know. She is so just gorgeous. Okay. So so pretty. But then she tried to do a video. A what video. It's some girl on um, Love and Hip Hop Miami. She tried to do a video and they didn't want to do it. It was a long time ago. And they was trying to talk about her skin. I'm like, what's wrong with her? Skin, what Because she's so, she's very chocolate, but very, you know, she's very pretty. But she, it's smooth. Anyways, long story short, they were saying something about she wasn't going to be kid pick a video because her darker skin and her hair was, you know, she wore Afro. She's representing her Latino. Uh, an African Latino. She's an African Latino, I think. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So she wants to represent her culture. She's very into that. Oh. But they didn't want to accept her because she's in her, she's into music. She has music and everything. I'm really confused. You know when you're doing a video, mm -hmm. what type, what people you see in videos mostly? They have to be very, uh, you know, slim ways, big cartoon, but. Big chested, chested, and you know, looking all, you, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And they yeah. have to have this long hair, very, you know, skin is very, you know, just yeah. like a model. Right. But if you get somebody that's darker skinned or, do I want to say dark skinned? Because everybody. Yes, just, you can say dark oh, like, skinned. Dark skinned, and with Afro, that's just something totally different. They're like, oh, you got to change your look. We need your hair to be straightened. Yes, we need you to get a, 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 a because people <clears throat> it's been instilled in everyone that oh, darker right. features when you're black or you, you do it's unattractive and that's just it's been instilled in everyone. I know that, and but you, why can't somebody be the one to change it? Like if she was the one to say, I'm yeah, I want to be. That's why Gen Z's are um, trying to book it doing this. Talk about some uh, being overly like, okay, we should stop this. We need to stop doing this. We need to stop this cultural appropriation. And we're who and said we're, that? Huh? Who said that? Uh, 
I'm the head of the Gen Z uh, corporation. Who's a Gen Z? Gen, Gen, Generation Z. Oh, Generation Z. Gen Z. Gen Z. Okay. I'm the head of the corporation. That's why we've been, we've, we've been on people's tails about things. And we're, all, we're, we're, we're such the PC people because we're trying to make change. Oh. We really are trying to make change. We really are. Um, I don't know if Gen Z cares about the black people. <laughs> I don't know what they do. I don't, I don't know. But I know the black Gen Zers. The power. The uh, right? I do. Am I right? Uh, anyways, um, no, I'm saying we well, don't get in trouble with this video. I already know I, this because you caught me off guard. I, if I really, I was trying if to I came into honest. the video knowing this, I would have been giving you uh, facts. But I just really am just like this was based off our opinion, y'all. Please don't try to give some comment. And we apologize if we offended anyone. We are not trying to offend yes, no one. Yes. This is just our opinion, and these are real questions that we do have. Well, I do have honestly, and maybe. Your opinion that you have opinion about things is things that we're trying to explain. We know what we're trying to say, but we're not trying yeah, to hurt anybody's feelings. But yeah, it's hard. I'm trying to. It's questions that you do have, and this is our real life. This we just discuss things, real life issues, and y'all may have these conversations within your home and may not ever discuss it out in public. But we choose to discuss in the front. These are some things that people think in their mind. Like, okay, some people are more. Um, I don't know if I should say easygoing. Or have that type of oh, and I don't care of do you to right, each his own care. to each his own right to each his own and I'm more of a to each his own it don't matter to me <clears throat> if you're not bothering me <clears throat> I ain't gonna say to you go ahead and do your thing but some people are very strict and they're like oh no it ain't to each his own you can't do that you're not able to do that because you're not this and it's like they have these well and the thing about <laughs> it is, is that that seems like it's there's a negative connotation on like fighting for something and that's not necessarily it's not okay just because like people don't have a a to each his own or like an I don't care attitude it's not it's for a purpose it's not just to be like well you're not black and you can't it's not to be like demean here you go sorry y'all the thing cut off but I was just saying that what were we saying that some people are really um I know this is a long video y'all but we just trying to get our point across but some people are really like strict Oh yeah, I was saying um, that people, it's not to be like, it's not, there's always a reason, it's a purpose, it's not just to be like, you can't, we, no one's trying to inhibit somebody's life and be like, well, you can't do that just cause. It's for a greater purpose of like, um, it's just for, it's for a purpose, it's, it's not to be like, you can't wear these hairstyles just because you're white and that's just because. It's more like, you know, you can't wear it because... Yeah, but don't you think that's There's restricting some people? It. Okay, it's like, okay, just say if a person say, I, I, they don't see Ooh. color. They don't see color. Okay. They absolutely don't see color because that's been, they've been raised like that. Because the more we, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? They just don't see color. So then they're like, okay, I want to wear that. I like braids. Let me go get my braids done, this and that. But then somebody come and tell you, girl, what you got them braids in your head for? And you're looking like, because I like braids. You know, these are nice. Then you get jumped on. Because of something that you want is something that you like. And you're innocently like, what? why so wrong for me to, to be this way? That's just like somebody jumping on somebody that say they are, uh, maybe they're transgender or they're, maybe they're gay or maybe a person is a, a lesbian or maybe a person says, uh, I'm with a white man and I'm, 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 I'm a black person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they're getting jumped on or they getting <clears throat> you know treated differently because it's something they want to do is that make sense no no it um okay L i feel like okay for example let's say and i don't know if this is necessarily to the same extent but let's say you decided and i don't know any kind of this i don't know if i should be even using this example because i have no idea what these this the cultural significance behind this but um uh indian people i think uh wear the little red dot yeah in there whatever i don't know what the importance of that is it's not my culture whatever but if, if somebody, a black well, person do it if anybody who's you know that's not that it doesn't have cultural significance to where is that on their thing and it says, oh, I'm just wearing this because I think it looks cute. It takes away the meaning behind 
what it was originally used for, like what it, the purpose right. of it was before. Now it's just, I'm wearing this because it's cute or whatever. And let's say I'm wearing this as an, you know, I don't even want to say Indian because I don't even know what it is or if it's like a culture, like if it's a, I don't know, a religion thing. I don't know what it is. But um, let's say I'm wearing this and I get, I get discrimination for it. I get ridiculed for it or whatever. And this is part of something that, you know, my culture, my, my religion, my whatever, and I'm getting ridiculed for it, but you're wearing it because you think it's cute. So if any, any day that you want to be like, okay, well, I, but I'm, what do braids have significance with, with braids? What is braids? Because braids is a, I know it's an African American cultural thing, right? It's an African American cultural thing. It's a protective hairstyle. It's something that was used right. for our 4 hair. And then now it's being used for hair. That's not, that's not even for that. But what about texture. this? And I'm saying the reason why this was even a thing was because of that in general, because of colorism in general, because there was no representation for. Well, I understand that. It was, it's like it's our, <clears throat> it's the way of of assimilating. And so being basically, accepted. basically, you can't you do anything that's a cultural thing if you're a different culture. What? You know what I'm saying? Like you can't you represent. Shouldn't be, you shouldn't. You be shouldn't be doing, doing like where's nose piercing comes in piercings of the ear and the nose and the, like mm -hmm. like when makeup I don't know the history behind out. that but I don't think that, 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 that was makeup more of a culture. originated from Egypt Egyptians but that's Ooh. okay right because it's I don't know for everybody yeah I don't know if that was necessarily so I don't know the history behind makeup or like piercings or whatever but I don't think that was a mom yeah. Okay, I, I get it. I get what you're saying. I everybody has it. a face. I got it. Versus some people having a texture of a hairstyle I got it. for a certain thing. It's certain things that people do. Like, if somebody wear a... Ain't nobody gonna wear... Like, you know, like, we have those African wraps. Mm hmm And then the gowns. Mm hmm What's it called? I don't know. A tzatziki? I think it is a tzatziki. It's I don't know. I don't know exactly how to do it. Cool. But anyways, but... If they see, I've seen a white person wear that before. Some things are religion based, right? And I feel, and if you obviously are that religion, you can do. Because like you see, not people, that that is. You see, but I'm you see I'm white people with Jamaica that have dreads. I've seen a lot of white people with dreads. Right. Um. Was that a culture thing? It's cultural appropriation. Yes, it still is. Mom. But they're born in Jamaica. They speak what? Jamaica? Huh? What? Okay. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Mom, okay. So you're telling me, okay, can somebody... But they're born in Jamaica, so that's what they know. Okay, so can, can a white person who b grows up in a, in a predominantly black neighborhood, uh, can they say the N-word? Because they grew up around all black people. That's going to offend the black people. Well, why is it going to... They, they were born in the same... They were born near them because, I mean, they were born growing up near black people. Can they say the N-word? Well, can can a black person say the, the the c word? I don't know what the c word is. <laughs> I'm so awesome. C word. The c word they call white people that we, did you eat with chili? Caucasian. Did you what? eat with chili? Oh, mom, you tried it. <laughs> <laughs> you really tried it. <laughs> what? But I'm saying you can't do that either. I wouldn't do that. Okay, but nobody is saying cracker. Nobody's saying that, mom. Darius, why would you say that word? Because I'm not. I, nobody is saying. Why would you say okay. that? You should have said a c word. Because I was trying to make sure that everybody knew at home what you were talking about. I said about. with chili. And no, everybody knows that. No, I was really confused. There's, there's well, you're supposed to be confused. If okay, you don't know well, anyways. It. I don't no no nobody should be saying that word in in and nobody should say the n word and we can have a discussion on that I disagree with that too we can have a discussion on that on that nobody day. should be saying that yes who should say it I think that black people would definitely have the right to say what the word that they want to whenever they want to I could, okay okay what I'm saying is I don't know I don't know it's confusing this is a <laughs> this video took a turn this video took a turn. But we can get into the N-word. We can get into the N-word. We're not getting into that your, on your channel. We, we can have a discussion. You know. Tomorrow we're having a discussion on your channel. I'm just letting you know. Let's, look, let's talk no, about... No, because I need to go in with all my... Fa this, the N-word I th I'm de definitely well, way more versed on than I am on... Well, yeah, I can, I can see that because yeah, I, would, I would be offended. You know, you can get offended. Yeah. Even if they're singing the song. Yes, even if they're singing the song. Right. 
Just, but that's to, and it's not different than having a, well maybe I guess y'all I don't know huh maybe I don't know because I be thinking if somebody say something that's cute these days and the time we living in but it's like so many people are so sensitive when you say something that's like cute. something oh that's cute let me put a a, a, a diamond on my tooth that oh, has that's nothing cute. to do with culture but who started it that has nothing to do with culture who started mama. it everybody has teeth not everybody has 4C hair well I'm talking about like the dot. That's somebody's culture. The earring. I don't know. I can't tell Is you. Is that somebody's culture? You can't just say that it's somebody's culture. Ethiopians was wearing it. Holes in their nose and piercings. With the little loops. In between here. Wasn't they? Mom, I don't know anything about piercings or makeup. So you have to give me something that I'm well And Egyptians on. were wearing makeup. They originated makeup. Okay. In Egypt. But like I'm saying. That's their culture. I understand that. But we wear it. But I don't think that it was necessarily a part of their culture. Okay, so are airplanes a part of American culture because Americans invented them? Like, you can't... That's what I'm saying. Peanut butter? Right. Is that a... So can only black people eat peanut butter? No! Yeah. So you can't just say that just because somebody created it, that it's part of their culture. There are certain things that are part of people's culture. That's what I'm saying. And I think that braids are, are forcey or kinky hair, all that, that's a part of black people's culture. Is that not? Do you know I think that's a big stance about people's culture? Hair. Hair yes, in general. Yes, yes, I get that. I understand. So that's that. why there's a difference between forcey hair is, and makeup. But a braid. A braid. It's a protective hairstyle for, I understand for that. different hair textures. I know that it's a protective hairstyle, but what I'm saying is. I'm so okay, everybody can wear braids. So if a girl so. wear pigtails and ponytails, it's like, no, you cannot wear that because it's a black thing. What? I don't know if ponytails are a black thing. <laughs> if you have two ponytails or two uh, braids in your hair, is that a black thing? Two braids? Braids. braids. Just braid. braid. A braid. Mom, I know what a braid is. You have <laughs> calm down. I didn't have to do all this. I was just You said pigtails, ponytails, and bra braids. Just braids and yes, we just talked about braids. I think that is a. I think that is black culture. I'm done. I'm mm -hmm. done with this conversation because I can't. I don't know. I'll just be thinking in terms of okay, she got some braids on her head. So what? And other people be like, take their braids out your head. Oh, we finna fight. Okay, but see now you're demonizing black people who are trying to fight for something. No, I've seen this happen. I understand that, but now you're demon. Not everybody's doing. I'm not. Doing oh that. no no, I'm not. I don't think that. I'm not saying that. I just feel. I, I'm just saying how I see it. Like, why y'all trying to jump on that girl? Cause she got braids in her head. They trying to kill her. Okay. See now. <laughs> see, now you're demonizing people who have who are saying are who think cultural appropriation is a, a real thing. You're saying that by 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 sharing this narrative of y'all are gonna jump on her and do this or whatever. No, 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 no. I'm not saying everybody's like that. That's what I'm trying to say. Everybody's not like that. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying some people take it, take it there. They overly, like literally, if they see, like, say for instance, we're talking right now, somebody walk up and they happen to have braids in the hair and they're European. They will literally stop in what they're saying. And it's something in the side of them rises up of hate. Now there's now no, no, there's no, 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 no. hate in the not, devil. But I'm in not. These people. But I'm not talking about everybody. It's like something triggers in them that make them want to okay. hate that person. Like like something triggers in people of you that they see a anybody. transgender. They will want to kill that person for no reason. Reason. How are you going to kill that person because they're transgender? Or how are you going to kill that person? Okay, well, in either in, in We've either seen it. Instance, Too many people have gotten murdered from that. In either or any instance, you shouldn't be a jumping on people or trying to kill them. That's crazy. This is what I'm saying. But or, speaking your opinion or having a cause or having a, a, a goal in mind of, you know, of the reason why you're saying something about cultural appropriation, I don't think that that should be like... Okay, know. yeah, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I What I'm really trying to say is... Why do people take it so far? Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, that some people take it too far. Well, it depends on what too far means. To Meaning, uh, get those braids out. I don't like you because you you trying to be black. Yeah, you might have some. There's something wrong, maybe. But having a conversation like I'm having and explaining the importance of braids or the importance. I understand. Of that, 
understand culture. Like what we're doing right now, it should be fine. I don't think that I'm being, you know, or or I don't think that I'm doing anything wrong by trying to express, you know, why there's no a opinion. cultural significance. It's just an opinion. But if I'm over here telling some, I'm gonna kill you because I don't I don't know who's doing that, but they need to nip it in the butt immediately because they're not helping the cause. Tell them some yeah, that's what I'm saying. No. You have some people that are evil, but that you have some because what I'm trying to say, maybe it's people that are what would you call it? Not racist or prejudice. You because you say racist and prejudice is different. So you have some people that literally don't like the, another race. They don't like Europeans. Period. They have been raised that way. Yes. I don't like it. They call them the devil. Which is very wrong. Right. Very so I'm wrong. talking about people that have that type of hatred in right. their heart right. for that. But, that. but I understand people that say, okay, that's a... So if you had one of your friends that had braids, would you be mad at them because they had braids? Or would you explain to them, don't wear braids around me? No, I wouldn't do... I wouldn't just say don't wear braids around me. I would explain to them the reason why they shouldn't be wearing braids. Because I would do what I'm doing with you right now. I literally would just be having a conversation with them. That's all I would be having a conversation with. And like, for example, if one of my white would friends... Would you really do that? Yes. Because I've had friends of mine before, or like, I've had friends of mine before who were, who are not black say the N-word. And I've had discussions with them. About why well, yeah, okay. that I understand, but I'm talking about like a, a like literally. Yes, right. yes, yes. I would. I would. Like, don't wear braids. If they said I'm Jamaican, I got dreads. Cut your dreads out because you can't. If they do said that. they're Jamaican, I have dreads. They went from Jamaica, but they wear dreads. And you tell them to cut their dreads out because you don't like it. I don't know where the origination of dreads came from. Is it really from Jamaica? I don't know. I don't really think my dreads. No, I'm just saying you said. I don't, that, I don't know where it's originated of, from. I think ja Jamaicans and Jamaican people wear dreads. Jamaica. But I think Jamaicans, black people wear dreads. But I don't know if that was just a thing or if it. I, that's a style. I now. feel like people. It's a style. I honestly, well, I don't know a lot. I don't know. I don't know everything, and I don't want to act like I'm the face we of the don't. black community, and then I'm out here telling some. This originated here, that originated. I don't know where everything originated or whatever. Because if it's a Jamaican thing, then you can just say, oh, well, black people can't wear it. But I mean, like, not every black person. I don't know. Whatever. That's not the point. Either way, the hair texture thing is just something different. Because it's just your hair texture equals a hairstyle. Braids, dreads, whatever. A protective hairstyle. So then, there's discrimination that goes along with those. So the wearing of it, it's more of it's it's a part. It has a significance. In so the people don't have, but that's what I'm saying. People can't do what they and want. And when you just don't, when you don't have that hair texture, or even have to think about that, and you just wear it to be like, oh, well, I think this is cute. Then when when prob when when problems are, uh, come, when problems come, or if anything ever happens where you decide that you don't want that hair anymore, you can just take it out and forget about it. But you can't. But black people can't ever forget about their 4C hair texture. They can't because they about, have it. Okay, but what about some people that are are um, European? They got more European in them, but they have some black in them. So are they, but they wear, their hair is not as straight, but it's kind of, kind of, not, uh, it's kind of, not, it's not that straight. So they have that in between hair, but they want a hair, but they want, but I think some people say if you have a little black in you're black. Um, like you got some that people. also stems from racism. What the one drop rule? Oh yeah. Of like, if you just have a little bit black in you, you're black. You're black. Um, and you have some of them that say, okay, let me wear some. Um... Forget it, y'all. That's just, more of an in depth thing. This right now in these days, things are very well sensitive, too sensitive, and a lot of people are very, very, very sensitive. Yes, I think every so. I think, little thing you say, you can't say this, you can't say that. If you say that, and I'm um, like, these I, are conversations. That, these are real conversations that people have in their household. I do. I, I don't care what nobody say. Y'all just don't have it out in the open. But these are real conversations. They are. These are real questions. I do think that and people have their own opinions of things. I think that people are maybe a little bit too sensitive, but I see where it comes from. It's not just. It, it's for a greater. The, this whole sensitivity thing and the POC thing came from after we had the internet because people have these social media raised um, these these 
uh, you're an influencer in general, any TV personality, somebody famous, rich, or whatever, if you have people who know you that you don't know, you have an obligation to set the record straight or try to you have to be the, the best you can be you have right. to be the example yes but that's pressure on people like and I know us that's not fair because it's not fair because we're human we're human yes we wipe our butt like you wipe your butt we have to bet we have to do all everything everybody else do right and my thing is we are not perfect we're not god we're not we're normal we're just people that just sit here on a camera yes and let y'all share our lives with y'all and all of that is true but it's just it's a responsibility that you have to take to be the best you can be i feel like because listen i understand all that's true that that, that it's unfair but, to they, say that, that. But, but it's a very it's very it is very unfair because i feel it that is. it's very wrong because just because you're in the limelight doesn't mean you cannot make mistakes you, it doesn't mean that you can't make mistakes but you have to try your hardest not to and the reason why that's not being yourself what no, it's not about It could be yourself. almost altering yourself to be, oh, let me not. Because it's a lot of people out here that wants to do YouTube or wants to be in social media, but they're so afraid because they cannot. What they say this about me? What they say that about me? Oh, I got to watch what I say. If I can't say this, I can't say that. I can't say that. It's like you have to, you have to literally say, no, I can't say that. I, we... I'm going to tell y'all, we are very self calm We are a type of a family that we know or we're, we're not going to say. It's some things that we will not say. Even when we even ha say that in our house because we know it will hurt. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know some... It's like... You're you you have a moral compass. You know what and what I say. And some people moral compass is broke. They say yeah. whatever, however, and they get in trouble. And they the get reason judged. why you the reason why you have to there and I, I'm gonna try to explain this. The reason why you have to censor yourself when you're when you have a position of whatever and you're an influencer is because you are uh, impacting so many people. And if you say something out of line or something or whatever that that can affect a group of people they, then other people think that it's okay to like say that or so other people think I that get okay. that I wouldn't say that to insult anybody I wouldn't do anything to on my platform to hurt any culture of course people don't do it out to be mean. people's feelings or try to uh degrade somebody we I, I'm not like that right but what I'm saying to you is it's in the situation we can have situations where somebody misinterpret or maybe say why did you say it that way? Why did you yes. say it like that? Yes, a lot that? of times people do not, do not understand the intentions. They just look at everything for a surface value. And I think that a lot of, not necessarily, I can't say this for a lot of, but I know that us and, and specifically, like if people ever are offended by something, it was never to be Right, malicious. Or Nothing's not, ever to be malicious. Right, never, ever. We don't do things or like when I was, having, when I was on Darius' channel and I had a conversation with my son, my and I said, would I call him dark skinned or, or whatever? I said, I whatever understand. the conversation was, it was a whole bunch of stuff. But then Darius never was telling me about it and everything. I would never not like my love one son over another son. We have different relationships, and I love my son both yes. the same. But I just said something to him, and everybody went all crazy. And well, crazy. those are two different things that they were talking about. I don't know. Oh, and him wanting to be European because he. Oh yeah, you guys tried it. Some things that we talk about, it's like okay, we will have this discussion, and people have had discussions like this in their own home, but they're not gonna say it in front of a camera, and we do. But not to intentionally hurt right. anybody. This is our dynamics. This is our family dynamics. It's the way we do uh, our operate in our family. We all know we love each other. We are very close knit. No one is one better than another. We don't have a black sheep in this family. Everyone gets treated yeah, equally. Yeah, you guys do try that every time. You, every chance you get, you do try it. Every chance. And my thing is, people know that even if you you people out there, people out there that have families or have children, you know you're gonna have relationships, they were all gonna have different personalities. They're all gonna have different personalities and you're gonna treat one, you may treat one differently according to their personality. I'm gonna be with Dalvin and I'm gonna treat him according to his personality. Dalvin is eight, they got a seven year difference. Yeah, I think you guys did try, if we really wanna talk about the whole treating me and Dalvin differently, and that was tried. And I think, I mean, not, it wasn't tried, that is true, but it's not, it's not a- um, What's true? That you treat that you have different relationships with me and Dalvin. Yeah, we have different relationships. But I think that people are making it seem like you don't like Dalvin and you only like me and um, she loves theirs and favors theirs and that's not what it is at all. You can have when you're a parent, which I'm not, but you can have different 
relationships with each children and I and I, I get that I'm not in a position to say you know much like my opinion may not as matter as much as Dalvin's because he's supposed to be on the back end of this thing like they say that you treat me but so much better than Dalvin or whatever so anything I, I say may not be taken as you know heavily as something Dalvin could say mm -hmm. but my opinion is that we just have different personalities and you're gonna treat you know we just okay for example this is one thing I and I feel like this is human nature I I, um, I'm very picky. I'm known for the picky. I'm known for uh, not wanting to try this, you do this, to eat that. I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't do that. So naturally, my mom's like, oh, try this, try this, eat this, eat this. You better eat that, you eat that, eat that, eat that. My brother is very, let me get this, let me get that, let me get this. My, let so that, this, that, that try, one is like, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't. So and I'd be like, no, 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 no. So, but I end up giving it to him. Yeah, so she gives it to him in the end, but it's naturally like, no, no, Dalvin, get away from me, ha, 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 get away right. from me, whatever. With me, it's Darius, eat this, eat this, try this, try this, you want some. So it's seems like and that sounds like I seems like I tried it too and I, I like I said so anything that I can say is not gonna be as heavily taken as something that my brother and not say. only that they gotta understand there is such a seven year difference that he still was still at home all the way up until now so he's in our house all the time Dalvin has been gone from us moved out on his own a long time ago. for a long 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 time so almost Since a decade Almost a decade. He's 27. Yeah. Well, close to a decade. Yeah. Um, so he's been he's on his... Okay. Yeah, he's 27. Oh, 26. He's just turned 26. Years. Okay, whatever. Close to almost half of a decade or more that he's been gone out the house. So it's almost like, okay, we have... He's grown. He's a grown-up. There's certain things I'm not going to do that I would say to Darius. Darius is still kind of... Well... You know. Well, I don't know. So. You don't know what? I don't know what you mean. Uh, he's still kind of under my footstool. Under my care. I don't know what that footstool. I understand what you're saying. You know, I'm still, you're still under my care. Yes. And I'm still have to take care of him. He's still latching on. You know what I'm saying? Just like you have a child that's on breast milk. They still latching on a little bit. They ain't, off, they ain't weaned off quite yet. All that to say is just you, you don't. Okay. I think what they're what they're equating it to is the way you treat me and Dalvin means that you love us differently. The love level is the same. The treatment or the way that or the not me even and you treatment. just have different discussions. Different discussions. We our personalities it's are more, more similar. similar. It, it just you don't have to treat your children the same, but you have to have the same love, level, the same love for both. Love of them. for them and the, the level of respect. Because something, I'm not going to sit here and not, okay, if he said, I don't like this, I don't like that, I don't like this, and I keep on saying, well, I'm going to make you, like, I'm, I'm going to do this to you to get under your skin. I'm going to keep on doing things to get under your skin to make you, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. Ag agitate you. I'm not going to do that to my son. I know what, what he, that may agitate him, and I know what may agitate my son. I'm not going to do that to them because I love them. And, and like, just the, all it's this. Just, it's just, it's just, okay, y'all. Y'all know y'all probably like, why is y'all talking about this? But it's just, it's, a, a it's, it's just, it's just a lot of things that when you are in social media and you do have this platform, people try to put you in a, a um, put you on this platform on a, a pedestal mm -hmm. that's so hard, high, that you're like, I can't reach that pedestal. I can't. Right. I need a, need like three or four ladders maybe i need uh, the empire state building the, the empire state building mm -hmm. to be able to reach it or two or three it is unfair it, it's, it is. Very it's unfair, very unfair and, and it's a lot of pressure and a lot of you know what it's a lot of social media personalities that are depressed they are li literally depressed they come on but they're depressed because all of the negativity and the media they have to face every day granted our family, we're more, we're strong, but you know, stronger, but we know not to, we know what and what not to do. We ain't finna be in our comments and be like, oh my goodness, and have a dad be down, like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, because we don't deal with depression. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're not, we're not, we don't deal with depression. However, we know how to be able to uh, be each other backbone and support. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how we're, well, we're close like that. But somebody, everybody doesn't have that, that uh, support team. Right. They're by themselves. Or mm -hmm. some social media people have been adopted and they're like, okay, I'm all alone in this thing. So who do I turn to? Who can I trust? Who can uh, comfort me when the world is against me? 
yeah, I just feel like it's just, ugh, this is all, I mean, this is all comes with, you know, everything that we're doing and it's a lot. Um, it's enjoyable. It is. There's, uh, there's it's so much pros fun and cons doing to doing this. Yeah, we have a more pros. More pros than there are than cons. cons. More pros than there are cons. Because uh, it's only a little fist for the pe people that have hate. Yes. We have a lot of people that yes. love us. A lot of people, a lot, a lot of y'all love us. A lot of y'all are very respectful, nice, and we appreciate each and every one of y'all, every last one of y'all. You know, you're very sweet, you're very kind, and you guys are our ride or dies, and you really support us to the to the end. Y'all very faithful. But you have some, just a little bit, a few. You know how you said the one bad apple spoils a whole bunch? Yeah. Is it, it, Essentially, usually, it takes 10 good comments to... When you're ten good comments to one, one always carries more weight. Yeah. One bad comment carries more. You're weight You're like, oh my ones. gosh, and then you hear the, the what about the, the ten good ones you just heard? Right. It just goes out the window. Right. It goes out the window. It's like, oh my gosh. Like, oh my god, they said about me. Oh wow. But I think that we handle it as a family. Our family, we handle it very well because in the beginning it was more like, dang, ouch, what? You know, because you're so new to it. Because when we, we wasn't really in social media. Oh, yeah, time, in the beginning. You're so new to it. You were like, whoa. Wow. Man, I can't ouch. believe they would say that. I really can't believe What would they mean? And you really didn't really mean nothing by it. You're like, how did they get that out of that? And that lets you know, like, wow. You really do have to kind of navigate. You have to step back. And navigate right. what you need to say and right. filter what you need to do. Well, yes. say. But not to a certain extent because you don't want to change yourself. You don't want to change who you are as a person. Right. But at the same time, you still want to be able to identify yourself on video. Because if I watch myself on video, I'm like, wait a minute, who is that girl? I don't want to be saying that. Right. I want to be able to look at that video and say, okay, I can show my grandchildren, children, my children's children, this video. And then say, oh, my, that's my great-grandmother. And yet, that's how she acts. That's her personality. That's who she is on and off camera. I don't want to be looking at this video and be like, oh, who is that girl? Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And same for you. Even though we our videos make us cringe, I think it's hearing our voices. No, um, I don't know if I cringe. I think I'm kind of just. I'm so like. Darius, you so erase far. every video. <laughs> this all private, so don't get don't go there. Don't ever air my dirty laundry again. Anyways. And there's cute videos. No. You still got the videos on Facebook? Mm. You delete them already? Mm. Okay, y'all, we're gone. Okay, y'all, we apologize if we messed up with somebody. Go on there and apologize in the van. Oh. I will be reading the comments, okay? And this time, 2020 is no games. I will be clocking. I'm just kidding. Um, yes. I'm about to say, boy, don't you do that. Um, no. Yeah, I did. I don't think I said anything in this video to defend anybody, but I hope I did not. And if I did, I really did not mean We're that. We're sorry way. if we did, y'all. Anything, anything with a sensitive topic is going to, you know, people are going to be offended, obviously. Um. Yeah, we didn't mean nothing by but it. Nothing, we love, no. we love the Europeans. We love the so Jamaicans. We love the, we love the Ethiopians and the Egyptians no matter and what, the Indians what you are. and whoever you are. We love you with just the way you are. We're not God, and we love everybody the same, right, Darius? We have yes. always taught my family to be that way, right? Yes. Okay. So, so anything we love you guys. Was not a hate. We know we love uh, color people too. Like what? Color people. I'm talking about people that's darker. They say what you call it. <laughs> Color dispro what you call it? What? Oh, people who do um cultural appropriation? Yes. We oh, love I thought I was I was confused. I wasn't on the same page. What was you thought I was saying? I don't know. But I just, it was a lot when it came out. But I said color people. Yeah, no one says that anymore, but I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't I didn't say it the right way. What I meant color dispro what is it called? Cultural appropriation. Color, cultural appropriation. Cult I'll say for you. What no uh, what they say when you when you they say oh colorist. Yeah, that's colors. what they say. No, I'm not. We we love colorist. Oh, you're saying? Oh, okay. I colorist. <laughs> what yeah. you thought I was saying? And that's how what people do. They will think the way you think, and then they will attack me because they think it's something differently. Well, I don't know what you said. What you thought I was saying? I don't know. You said I love colored people. <laughs> that's all I heard. And I'm I said, what is going? I'm not a colorist. Yes. I, meaning I like people that's dark skinned, fair skinned. Right. That's what yes. I'm trying to say. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Y'all get what I'm trying to say? Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes. <sighs> they they will buke me. They will buke me. We love everybody. This is what it comes down to. Whatever. We you love are. everybody, and whatever you choose to do, you choose to do. And I'm sorry, y'all feel that I'm too easy going. I disagree.
What? No, not you. About you being easy going. <laughs> no. I don't think. See how that went? No. So you see, I told you, but Darius no. disagree with her about being easy going. You, you, no, yeah, I'm, I'm just. Well, anyways, you were talking about how like you're like an I don't care like an easy going person. I'm and you, the and he's not. He's more of a uh, person that likes to debate. Yeah, I, I mean. So I feel like when I, on his yeah. page. Want his um video? We gonna do something. Just let debate, us know if you want us to have an in depth uh, ugly truth. We yeah. Well, we don't want to. Well, we we they got they okay, right, okay right. right. If you want us to have a full length discussion about this, maybe on my channel. I always thought about doing this by myself and just having a discussion because I feel like. It, Why you want to do it by yourself? Because you think I'm. No, I would. I didn't think that anybody would want to do it with me. This is these topics are. are Listen, y'all. Y'all may think I'm. Topics. Yeah, because y'all may think I'm crazy and dumb. And I, only reason why I asked Darius is Darius is so close to uh, you know, from school and learning a lot of things about different cultures and different things like that and the way your background is. I'm more learning that as, my, I'm not necessarily learning it in school. But remember, no, remember you was in, um, when you was in his senior year, y'all remember when Darius used to come, in, come to on the videos and tell stories about what you learned and you learned this about this culture and oh, different. I don't that, but what? You don't? Mm -mm. Um, well, I think it's my memory's just bad. Your memory probably is bad, but if you go back, he would tell us what he learned, or maybe something about the Achilles heel, or or oh my or different things. Okay, and different things like that, or uh, I don't remember what story you told us about. Was it a, a Indians or was a white man? He took war. He took war. He went to war. Somehow he was fighting. It was something about a, a queen and king kingdom. Oh, decrease. see, I don't remember none of that no more. He, I told you I don't remember. Like, yeah, but he told that. stories and stuff like that. Anyways, long story short, he knows stuff. He's very fresh in the mind. And some things I do have questions about because Darius tell us that we're not living in the times. We're stuck in the old times. They are. So he says that I have to school you on what's really going on in this world. Because we can say stuff, and he'd be like, where do you get that from? Y'all need to wake up and be, uh, and this Woke. is Generation GZ. No. Gen Z? Gen Z. Mom. Gen Z. It's not that hard. And it's, I don't, it's Generation shortened down and it's Z. See what I'm saying? And they think they rule the world. No. Nobody thinks Y'all be trying world. to take over the world. You guys are so attacked and offended by us. And I really... <laughs> this is what we talk we about. Really this is what we talk about. We really are really not doing anything but trying to make the world a better place. That's all we're trying to do. No, no, we're not attacking you guys. Um, we're just, Who is you guys? Well, you made it seem like I was representing okay, Generation Okay, yeah, we gotta let this, we gotta let this, this so video you're genera go. So you're Generation X and, and the silent generation. Why do we have to be X? I, that means That makes me feel like y'all Xing me out. Why can't it be Generation A? I didn't make that name for your generation. Who did that? I don't know. It's a Gen Z. Probably your generation. A Gen Z? Your generation no. probably called us Gen Z. A Gen Z said it. The Gen Zs are not. Oh no, we called you guys uh babe. Uh, that's really funny. Boomer, baby boomers. Baby boomers. We said okay. Boomer. That, okay, that's what I'm saying. Okay yes, boomer? baby boomer. No, no. It's okay boomer. No, no, no. Why we gotta say okay boomer? It's like a it's like a derogatory thing, like okay boomer, like if you like oh okay, like if you say something. See out what of, I'm saying about these Gen Zs? See what I'm saying about these Gen Zs? Well, okay boomer. It's just like yeah yeah whatever. You're like an old. It's really mean actually. <laughs> it's really. That's mean. very mean. It's like it's like yeah yeah like you're like we're young. You're gonna probably gonna die soon. Like okay boomer. Like you, can, all your little ideologies you had before are not meshing with mine, and you can, you know, I really don't care. So, okay, boomer, whatever. I don't ever say it because I'm so nice. I'm so nice. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, we can let y'all go. I feel like we kept y'all so long, but y'all, we love y'all. We love y'all. I'm just sorry in advance, y'all. We hurt y'all feelings. We should have had a disclaimer in the beginning because we didn't know obviously it was gonna be turn out like this. Oh, we gonna have a disclaimer in the uh, description box below. Yeah, we'll read it. This, this is a lot. We love y'all. What else should, we should say in the title? Sensitive think, subject. Uh, please do not watch if you cannot have this sensitive subject. It's only our do we, only. do we want to say that we talked about colorism? Did we? Yes, we did. What do you mean, did we? What are you talking about? Oh my. Sorry, you bothering me. See that? That's nasty. I uh, know. But, uh, y'all. Should we say that? No. no. I just thought about YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> I just thought about YouTube. YouTube would cancel us out. Would they? Will you, are you, and you said the C word. Like, 
Oh my gosh, she could say cracker mom. Darius, stop it! I, you say it one more time, I'm gonna get demonetized. Demonetized. That's not true. So you're telling me if we were having chili right now, say woo. No, and that's why I say chili. No. Darius, be quiet. Don't say it. Just say chili. What you eat with chili? You know what people would think that, and they probably think that you're trying to say that, trying to say they oh, really he's trying to be really funny. They, and they keep on saying it. They really. Well, Darius, if you think that you're crazy, because I, you might have tried it. Because I root for everybody, and you know that. I really just root for everybody. Yeah, because all his friends, his friends and stuff is, is different nationalities. I, I, you have Asian, Black, uh, European. Well, European. You said European. European. Yeah. Yes. And that's all that's in your group. I, I mean, not they all European, they've been American, groups I, since. Not necessarily European. They American. I mean, yeah. They're we, Greek. They stem from Europe, but like. People in America are not necessarily yeah. European. Anyway, like I, I don't know. He has a whole nationality full of friends, and they've been close yes. since high school. Whole, so they almost um, like the ethnicities. Uh, they're different what you ethnicities, call, right? Ethnicities. You, they're called the what is that bunch? The Brady Bunch. No, the Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club. Is that the one they have nationality? I don't know. I never seen it. Or the Brady Bunch. You say you was the Darrison crew. What was that? You told them people let lie. Oh, I never tell. Y'all said y'all was Disney. Before, before Malik gets oh on no me. no! You said that. Oh, oh we have a kids. That was that was Kid Critics. Kid and Critics. I killed it. That could be a show. And no one has to be. And it was all of them different nationalities sitting at a table. And, and they, and we they believed eight. it. We would have ate. You got too. the Asian girl. You got the black boy. You got the you. Malik was a kid. Malik was there. Malik is black. I said Malik. You said the Asian. I mean, I mean, you said black boy. That's, that's me too. No, 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 no. We we know you black. Okay, whatever. I don't know. I was trying to count both of us. Sorry. That's why I said black boy. But I, okay, whatever. I already know you black. They know you black. I get it. I get it. That's why I say black boy. It was black boy represented. But I didn't want to say no names. All right. I'm gonna try to name shame. No, okay. Name tag. Uh huh. You told me not to name tag anymore. Name tag? <laughs> you don't use it. No. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone. Everyone knows your girl doing shine. We we'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. We love you guys so 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 much. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed. Now we can do a TikTok, TikTok. You ready? I, I got the energy even, on me right now. We don't even know. I'm in the monster then, cause I I forgot that you're. Um, I got the energy on me right just now. Just let us know if you want me to have a video about um, issues in different communities, cause I can definitely give you um, a rundown. I can give. I don't you think I'm gonna be in that video because yes, they can talk to me. You have to be in the video. You have, I need to. Hey, I need someone to rebuttal. I don't know a lot of stuff, and I just be. I'm very, very mellow, and I just be like, hey, whatever, you know, whatever. And y'all be probably thinking like, uh, whatever. You are so da 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 da. Oh, because I think a lot of people, are, a lot of black people, are not like that. They want to be confrontational. I'm not confrontational like that. Oh no, I'm not either. We're not that people. I'm not that, confrontational. Oh no, no, man. Mom, I'm not confrontational. Darius, let me just tell you this. You like to debate. I do like to debate. That's a confrontational. If I know what I'm talking about. That is a confrontational. As, yes, I understand asset that. to a person. I get I When get they that. like to debate. I'm not going to go back and forth. Like, people like to debate about the Bible. People like to debate about the politics. People like to debate. I am not that. I don't debate things that I don't know about. But if I do know about That's it, what I'm saying. Debate. But people love that. I'm not. <sighs> oh, yes, what you believe? Girl, go ahead on. I'm I'm done. Excuse me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm not like that. Well, I have questions, and my questions and what people questions be, and they be like, "Oh, she ignorant. She stupid for even asking that." But hmm. That's why you have to be on the episode. And so I can look stupid. No, you just have to present your questions, and I'll explain them. Okay. You, mom. There's a lot of people who think like you, so you have to be. You have to be the face for them. You have to represent them. And then get jumped on in the comments. No, because your people will be there for you. And my people will be there and, for me. And yeah, and it's going to be these many people that's there for me. And these many people there for you. Yeah, Darius, school her. You're so much smarter than her. Let her know. What a dumb mom. Um, but that's just them being mean and cruel and mean. And you know they do that all the time. Or do <laughs> they a lot. do that all the time. They're going to do that regardless. But know. we don't care. We don't. Because we're just if rich we, and, and, not, and cruel. Yeah, we're just so rich and we don't care about anybody. 
We are uh, dumb yeah. as a box of rocks. Why? We scammed you guys. Oh, you guys got scammed. Yeah. You guys really got scammed. Um, no, y'all. Oh, the types of comments I've seen. The types of things that we have, have endured, y'all. And some of, some of y'all know. Some of y'all know. And like Gary said, y'all can name them. Y'all definitely can name them. Um. Oh, this is my fifth closing. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, it. subscribe, share this video. Anyone, I mean, and everyone, let me know what your girl is doing on this channel. We guys, we see you tomorrow with another video. We love you guys so, so, so much, and we really do love you guys. And we're sorry if we offended anybody. And we'll finish conversation on Darius' channel. So if you want to stay tuned for what Darius have to say about. Um. What do you want to? What? 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 I do not like people like. <laughs> And you guys want to know what um what what's to say? I don't know if we want to talk about what, what our first discussion is gonna be. Oh, you gonna do some heavy topics on your thing mm. this whole summer? Well, I don't know. I've, it's been in my back of my mind. I want to educate people because I feel like I have gone through an awakening stage in my my life. I'm being serious. I've gone in through when I since I've been in college, I've gone through an oh, awakening stage. Oh, I didn't know that. And I've had like a it's like a seconding awake a second a, a second, second awakening. awakening like a um I've been just more aware of things oh. and like I've had I've created a lot of opinions since I've been in college and I want to share that with people to maybe educate people about things. There's certain topics. That's very good. Let's do yeah. So it's a big college uh, awakening. What? I'm waiting. We'll, we'll figure out a name. But anyways, I think our first discussion should be colorism. And they're going to try us. I already know. We're going to be the first one to be tried. Um, but we, let's go before we have a, to do a sixth outro. So, right. Goodbye. See y'all. Bye y'all. Love y'all. Uh, I don't know, Derry. You don't know what? I'm going to put a, 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 a... What are you going to do? A hat over my head face while I'm talking to you. What? Share and subscribe. Beat love, beat love, beat love three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.